everyone, I'm Saba, and thanks for tuning in to my channel, Savoring with Saba. I am super excited to share today's recipe with you because it's one of my go-to recipes. It has some of my favorite ingredients like lemon, Parmesan cheese, and chicken. It's really easy and it meets the requirements for every single recipe I feature on my channel. It's healthy, simple, and most importantly, delicious. And the third reason, which probably should be the first reason is, we're using pork panko. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get ready to make lemon and Parmesan crusted chicken. The ingredients we'll need for today's recipe are chicken, ghee, sea salt, pork panko, Parmesan cheese, green onions, grated lemon peel, and dried thyme leaves. So now we're gonna put the ingredients together. Ready, Jesse? I'm ready. Okay, so you're gonna drive this. So first, reach for the pork panko. Okay. Now, have you used pork panko before? Do you know what it is? <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay. Let me introduce you to the world of goodness called pork panko. So for those who don't know what pork panko is, it's basically finely ground pork rinds that are turned into breadcrumb style. So I used to love a good breaded situation on my meats, my fish, and my vegetables, but since you know converting to a carb conscious lifestyle, I had to find an alternative. And this pork panko is a game changer. Mm. I mean, it's gluten free, it's carb free, and it has a ton of a ton of flavor. It's a win 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 situation. Okay. Oh wow. So let's win, get win, ready. Win. It's a win 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 situation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh, I right. love breadcrumbs. So this you're not gonna want to go back to a traditional breadcrumbs after this. So now you're gonna put in your Parmesan cheese. Perfect. And then grab the scallions or green onions. We're putting all this in. Yeah, all of it. Now you can either cut them really small or leave them thicker. I like a good crunch, so I like my green onions to be cut a bit thicker. Perfect. And then grab the thyme. We're using the dried leaves. It's gonna add a nice little kick of flavor. Perfect. And then the last thing, which is my favorite part, or one of my favorite parts, is the lemon zest because I love a good like kick from the lemon. What about mm -hmm. you? Yeah, I do too. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit generous with my lemon zest, so you don't mind if I add a little more. Oh, sure. Once <laughs> I get to use this, and I love this new grater, I got it a couple of weeks ago, and like I find any excuse to use this. Just gonna add a little more. Smells so good. It does. I'm already hungry. Me too. This is a problem. I my appetite. <laughs> melted ghee. Now for this one, Jesse, pour in like 95% of the ghee. We're going to keep some for the chicken that we're about to use for the topping. A little more. Perfect. Okay. So now you can mix all of the ingredients together. And when you do mix the ingredients together, you're gonna see that your pork panko turns a little brown or golden. That's fine, it's just meaning that everything is gelling together and it's gonna be amazing. This looks good. It smells so good. It so does. this is easy, right? So yeah, far, this so is really good. easy. Something I can do after work. Yes. <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to the chicken. And what you wanna do is over medium heat, cook your chicken on both sides for five to seven minutes. Our chicken is done, and now we're gonna add the topping to our chicken. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so first things first, to make sure that the topping really adheres to the chicken, I'm gonna use some of the ghee that we used or kept from the beginning, and then just spread it all over the top of the chicken. So I'll let you go first, Jesse. Okay. Thank you. Every time I do this, I feel like I'm painting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love this tool. Too. Thank you. I know, Amazon. You can get everything on Amazon. Everything. And then Prime is just so addicting. It is. <laughs> it can be there by the end of the day. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna add the topping to our chicken. And Jesse, you just wanna take your spoon or your fork and then get a piece of the topping. And the tip here is to really press the topping into the chicken to make sure they all stick together and they don't fall apart. So good. I'm so hungry. 
love a good crust. Yeah, I do too. Crunchy. I love a good crunchy crust. I love the flavor to burst and pop while you're eating the crust because it really does make the chicken and I think this is the star of the recipe. chicken in the oven for 15 to 25 minutes. All right, so now while our chicken is baking, <laughs> Jesse and I are gonna play a little game called Random Questions, and we're gonna do it over some white wine, so cheers, cheers. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> are you ready? We'll see. <laughs> These are too bad. Some more wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're not that bad, they're not that bad. Okay. okay. The first question is, if you were reborn, what decade would you be born in? This is a tough one. because It I, is. Um, hmm. I don't know if I could just say one. Ain't no peeking either. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You, are you peeking? No. Um, this is tough. Wait, you're writing a whole lot. Like, I'm, I'm not. Wrote, I'm like... really not. I'm just, you know, sharing my thoughts. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. On the count of three. One, two, three. The 80s! Wait, we were born in the 80s? What the hell? We were in the 80s! What was so amazing about the 80s? That the I want to hear. I'm really serious. I'm just, I'm curious. You didn't enjoy I'm mean, our we were years. barely alive in the 80s. But I'm just, we want to see Michael Jackson in person? Like, what's happening? No, I don't know. Well, you tell me why you want to go to the 60s. I'm just curious. 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 I'm Okay, 60s or 70s because, I don't know, it just seemed like a cute time. Women were wearing really nice dresses and everyone That's just true. seemed so classic and elegant. If you could only hear one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, this is so easy. This is so easy. Easy? Yes. You already know who I love. Who do you love? Oh my gosh. Don't cheat. <laughs> I don't know the song, but I'm pretty believe. sure. It's the most annoying song, but I love it. <laughs> oh gosh. Are you ready? Okay, turn over the whiteboards. <laughs> wait, wait, what? This is happening. <laughs> Is it hot? <laughs> and it's nice and crunchy. 
Mm-hmm. See, so do you like the pork panko? Mm-hmm. I do. It gives a lot of flavor. And crunch. I told you. No need for regular breadcrumbs again. And I like the lemon. I'm glad you added more lemon to it. <laughs> Good. Thank you. <laughs> if I can catch my catch myself. Mm. <laughs> well, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. For the full recipe, go to my website, savoringwithsalva.com. Again, go to savoringwithsalva.com. And if you recreate this dish, I would love to see the post. So tag me on Instagram and Facebook at Salva Savers. And until next time, oh, just kidding. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I'd love to see your reactions and your feedback. And as always, until next time, happy savoring.